Hey guys, new video. Woohoo! I know you know what this video is about because you're smart and you read the title. So let's just watch cartoons. Play it, Sam. know what's wrong with this cartoon? You probably don't because I didn't even know it until two weeks ago. Mice don't like cheese and it's actually quite bad for their health. Yeah. We've all been brainwashed into thinking that mice can't resist cheese and this notion has been perpetuated since the middle ages because back then there was nothing else to munch on for the poor critters. They actually like grains, seeds and fruits. But this goes to show you just how effective these preconceived notions are, even though we have science. Our knowledge is still stuck in the Middle Ages because of media propaganda. I know, yeah, it's a cartoon, okay, hardly any media propaganda you might say, but your kids watch that and they learn that. Which makes me wonder, what else have we been taught about milk that is wrong? Hmm. Cheese and dairy products contain between 2 and 2.7% trans fat, and that's not because of mishandling or pasteurization, it occurs naturally. Problem with trans fat is that any dietary intake above 0% raises your risk for coronary heart disease. Same goes for cholesterol and don't even get me started on saturated fat. Another problem with dairy products is the amount of toxins and pesticides they have. Now, I'm not talking about large amounts of pesticide. The pesticide amount in milk is actually quite low, but certain studies have revealed something quite, quite interesting. They found the exact same toxins that are present in dairy and cheese in the brains of Parkinson's patients, mainly a compound called tetrahydroisoquinoline. Even though these toxins are present in low amounts in cheese, the study suggests that it accumulates in the brain over long periods. So there's a gradual buildup in the brain. If you want to be healthy in your 50s, quit the dairy. If that's not enough, dairy also has IGF-1, steroid hormones, and promotes obesity, increased mucus, premature puberty, infant mortality, ovarian and prostate cancer, allergies, and acne. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. Stop typing. I don't want to hear about calcium and dairy products. What are you? You're clinging to this one straw? Oh, it's the calcium. Oh no, protein. Fuck you. The calcium in dark leafy vegetables is much better absorbed and it comes in a nice little package of fiber, folate, phytonutrients and other nutrients. Stuff that milk doesn't even have. You're trying to justify eating a food item that is inferior to other food items. Why? You have to realize this at some point and not just say, oh, but my mommy always made it for me. The good doesn't outweigh the bad in this case. Why do you keep making up excuses for yourself? That's what I want to know. Even if you ignore anything I just told you and you say, well, Whatever, Sylvia, this is my health. I don't care. There's far more disgusting issues with milk, dairy, and cheese. But more about that tomorrow. See you tomorrow.